From the beautiful decor you just saw, we have some beautiful artwork because the 51st Annual Mandarin Arts Festival is going down this weekend. Here to tell us all about it are Susie Scott and Julie Fetzer. And thank you ladies for joining us. So 51 years, this is the longest running festival in Jacksonville? In Northeast Florida, actually, yeah. That's pretty major. That's pretty good. It's yeah. why. We, we have really awesome art. We have children's art where we get an opportunity to let the kids showcase their talent. We have food court. We have music. We have people that have been coming for generations. It's a wonderful event. So people coming to an arts festival are going to get more than just art when they come through. It's a whole community bonding experience. Absolutely. It's an Easter tradition for many, many families across Jacksonville and certainly across Mandarin. I like it. I like it. And we have one of our esteemed artists in the building, and we've got some of your works. What's it like for you to be a part of a festival that has so much notoriety? I think the part that I like the best is the fact that it's a generational thing, that it's not just been there for a long period of time, but it's a tradition for many families on Easter. They'll go to church and then they'll go to the, the festival or they'll go and they have people in town on Saturday. So it's really kind of neat. I see my, my daughter who's now 20, I see her teachers. Oh, nice. I see the teachers' families, you know, and then their grandchildren. So it's an amazing event. It really truly is. So let's touch on that. How long have you been a part of the festival? I've been volunteering for 20 years and I've been chairing for 10 years. So in your experience, do you see people that you saw like 20 years ago or maybe not even that far, but like, oh, they're growing with the festival as we grow? Absolutely. We've seen the artists mature. We've seen their work change. We've seen their kids grow up. One of the best parts of being the chair is I'm the first one to see new submissions every year. And it's so exciting to open that email and see somebody's work that's new to the show. Wonderful moment. And you've got local and national artists. Touch on that a little bit. Like, are there some names people might recognize? Well, our best of show from last year was John Cheer, and he's our poster artist for this year. He is a phenomenal artist. He is a prize-winning artist across the United States. He only participated in 24 shows and won in most all of them. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a Golden State Warriors type vibe right there. I'm bringing it to sports people. Just got to find a way to relate. How would you best describe your artwork, uh, Julie? Um, my background is landscape architecture and urban planning. So I bring a lot to that when I work on my uh, projects, uh, maps, the technical drawing. And I did a lot of presentation graphics, too. So that's kind of what I bring, where I start. And then being in Jacksonville, kind of bloom where you're planted. I like it. Yeah. And then there's all types of different art forms. So, I mean, there'll probably mm -hmm. be some sculpture as well. Oh, yeah, sculpture, jewelry. I'm kind <laughs> of a jewelry nut, so there's lots of that. And there's painting. There is um, fiber work. There is really a little bit of everything for everybody and every price point, all the way from something very affordable and the fine craft, all the way up to fine art that may sit you back a few bucks. And that's even better because people are like, oh, I'll just come out and check it out. But this is a great way to support artists locally and Absolutely. nationally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. So uh, if you guys are interested in coming out, supporting our locals and some of the national artists here, just coming out and being a part of the community. The weather is going to be cheery. It's going down Saturday and Sunday at the Mandarin Community Club, April 20th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4, 4 p.m. So, you know, go in. Maybe uh, put your best Easter frock on, get your little church on, and then come out and view some beautiful art. Thank you guys for doing this and for what Thank you're going to you. show to our Jacksonville community. And if you want to find out more information, go to mandarinartfestival.org. All right, guys, we'll have more River City Live after.